What's up guys, Commander Alex here, and today we're going to be playing some Bangor and I'm going to be playing as Blackfeather and we're going to be doing a Rome build today. I'm going to be building like support Rome items and hopefully we're going to be making this glaive amazing. That's that's the goal here. So there are quite a few things about Blackfeather that make him a good Rome, uh, but there's also some stuff that makes him not as good as Rome. So first off, his ability to actually have a lot of Rome synergy. Um, now I'm going to take this top one because I don't know if he has a good clear time or not, so we're just going to be safe and, and go for a pretty safe clear here. Um, but as I was saying, there are a lot of things that make him very useful at Rome, but there's also a lot of things that don't. And our glaive seems to have AFK in there for a second. I don't know what that was about. Um, so first off, his A gives uh, move speed, and then when overdriven, it actually gives slow immunity. So that could be really useful for you and your teammates. For chasing down enemies, your B gives a slow Okay, I'm gonna. I think I have a. I think we have a pretty good early game, so I'm just gonna. Just, just, just do it. Let's just do it. I don't have my execute. Is the only thing I'm a little afraid about. One damage on Kashka. Oh, and I'm dead. And clay. Oh, he was almost a legend, but to be fair, it was Finn who killed him, so that's not too bad. And we're gonna go for some scout traps here. I don't know what Ringo's doing. He doesn't seem to, wow, that he took a long time to shop. I spawned and got off the platform before he even shopped, so, okay. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna see how this goes. I feel like we could've won that. I think there were just a couple misplays there. I think I did a misplay when I attacked Finn rather than Kasha, and Glaive did a misplay when he decided to disengage and then re-engage. Um, also, I didn't have my execute, which is actually a lot of damage. That is another good thing about Finn, or not Finn, about Blackfeather, is that he has an execute, which does true damage, and is really, really good, even if you don't have a lot of damage built. So, with that, you can deal a lot of damage, even as a support, so that's pretty good. Um, and then finally, his ultimate can triple proc things like Shiver Steel, which is why we're going to be building that first. At least that's the idea. Get the hell out of here. Yo, 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 Glaive, come on. Come on, bub. Got the slow on to her. Oh, yes, keep it in the stacks, keep it in the stacks. Oh, shit. Um, I don't know if we're gonna win this. I used my execute too early. Yeah, I don't know about this. Ringo's just, <laughs> Ringo just got wrecked. He didn't even do damage, he just got wrecked. But so did I, our entire team. Is Glaive gonna pick something up? Hey, good stuff. And he got out. Way to go, Glaive. Okay. So, I'm looking at our... Okay, they have double CP team, so that's going to be easy to counter. We got that going for us. Um, they have Finn, who's late game, and Scarf, who's late game, but Koshka's incredibly early game. So this is going to be very interesting to see um, how this actually sort of plays out here. Because if we... I mean, if we keep it in the jungle into the late game, it's going to be pretty good for us because that means Kosh is going to be uh, less of an impact on us. But if we keep it in the lane, Scarf's going to be kind of an issue for us. So I'm not sure how I want to go after this. I think probably trying to keep those jungle fights, um, but we're probably going to have to start counter building, I think. So we're going to build some light shield and we're going to try and bait Koshka into a little death bush here. Nobody's over there, okay. Let's drop some mines there and back away. We could gank, we could probably gank Scarf. That, that would probably work. The way he's pushed up, so when he tries to see us, it's not gonna go well for him. Drop this here for Ringo. Where's Scarf? I'm just gonna check the bush. Okay, guess not. We can definitely, to be fair, we could actually just wait for Scarf to come back. Hmm. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna drop a mine over here for Ringo, and I'm just gonna chill with Ringo because as of now, being a support in lane is actually more beneficial to your team as far as stats go, because you get extra experience when you're around in lane. Lane of the slow, lane of the execute. Team wasn't there, okay. Glaive boots for the punt. Okay, he's, he wants this. I landed the slow, not enough though. Is Ringo gonna go down? He's not, okay. Okay, so I can actually 
take a little bit of lane farm here. Koska is in our vision, so we don't have to be worried about that right now. And she's not at the end of that bush. It's always good to just check, especially since I have energy, so it's not like I'm wasting anything to check. Um, I'm just going to chill up here and wait for Ringo to get back. I will clear the minions as I can, but what I basically want to do is... I'll just clear what I can here. And then Ringo's going to come back, and he's going to get some extra gold because of that, because they hit me. Alright, now Finn's here. <laughs> Dang, this is like an ARAM game. I don't know if our Glaive's getting any farm. Hopefully he, he's been picking up farm. Hmm, kind of this slow. Oh, Koska's here. I'm gonna, yeah, that's good. If Glaive, uh, actually, no, don't invade, don't invade. Koska just disappeared, don't invade Glaive. Okay. If he gets his own just regular farm, though, we'll be fine. I can just chill with Rengo over here. And kind of just keep him safe. Annoy the hell out of the scarf. Because if we keep him out of even experience range, this is going to be really good. Get the hell out of here. Nobody likes your scarf. <laughs> Alright, we're going to check down here for... Nope, no mines. That's good. Good to know. Ringo just disappeared, so we'll just keep the pressure on here, but I don't really want to... Okay, he used a Spitfire. Uh, Ringo seems to be... I don't know where Ringo's going. Oh, here he is. Nice. And I missed the cell. I really want to overdrive that so that I get the extra range on it. I think that's really worthwhile. Um, also, I have quite a bit of gold, so we're probably going to want to go down and use that eventually. And I think... Did Iron Guard get changed? I think it did so that Iron Guard now gives you, oh no, it's Storm Guard. It gives you extra damage based on how much gold you've gotten from it. So I think probably picking that up would be pretty useful to do. Okay, so we're, we're going to pick up that and that. And I guess since Glaze not down here, we could pick this up as well. Clear it real quick. The thing is, Glaze... I, Benefits both from gold and experience, so I feel like leaving him alone in the jungle, as long as he's not getting pressured by Kashka, is actually a pretty good thing, because I'm going to be getting more experience and gold just chilling up in lane with this guy. Um, but he is not alone. He is not alone. Okay, so we, we, we're we going to have to help him. Is he going to die? He's going to die, but this chick is got the slow, keeping in the slows, keeping in the auto attacks, execute damage. Come on, we got this chick. Nope, she jumped through the wall. OP, she's going this way, she's going this way. I can see the Rose Trail. Nope, she's going in the... I see you. I see you. Mmm, mm, I died. Good stuff. Good stuff. Man, that was really unlucky that she had vision on that minion. That was, like, really unlucky. Our team has one kill. Oh, this is, this is horrid. This is not going well, guys. <laughs> They are double CP though. Okay, so that's gonna give us a real advantage into the late game. Except for our Ringo's building weapon power. Why is our Ringo building weapon power? So weapon power Ringo is a perfectly good build, but not when you have a weapon power jungle carry. Ringo is one of those characters that you should definitely build um, de differently depending on who your jungler is. Okay, we got that, nice. Nice. No, I just I just need my execute. To, I didn't have it up. I maybe could have finished it, but I think I probably would have died for it. So I don't know if it would if it would have been worth it. Britza, we got our on point max out, so that's good. Got a really good poke now. And we're just gonna shove in this wave because we do have true damage, so we can really hurt this turret here. Get a little bit of extra damage from our stacks. Might be able. Can we? I don't think we can. And slow him. Slow him again. Oh, I should have ran into that turret shot. That's another thing. If you use your on point, you get a barrier. And what you can actually. Nope, we're out. <laughs> See ya. Uh, what you can actually do is run into a turret shot with it because it doesn't last that long. And if you do, you can. 
basically negate the damage of a turret shot. How the hell did that hit me? That did not hit me. <laughs> um, I don't really want to go in on this, but I think I kind of have to... There was... Yeah, we shouldn't have taken that fight. That was just a really dumb fight to take. He's going to get locked down, but he is on Koshka right now. Does he have breaking point? He has breaking point. This could be very good. He has to keep auto-attacking, though. Keep auto-attacking. Yes, he kept auto-attacking. The god. The god glaive. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. What a beast. Okay, so we got to we gotta get some, some stuff going here. I think Fountain. Definitely going to pick that up. And we're also probably going to pick up... Uh, some some sort of CP because CP works really well with your with your support builds because it enhances the speed that you get from your A, um, it enhances the damage that you get from your B, it enhances the damage you get from your ultimate. I mean, it really is just an overall good thing to get when you're building support. It makes you a lot more relevant. Um, let's just kill this guy. One, two. Oh, I had fountain. Shit, I could have saved him. I could, oh man, they both died. I'm holding on to Fountain for as long as possible. Can I get out of this? This is gonna be, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I don't, I don't, want, I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die. Please don't kill me. Oh yes, dodge the Spitfire. Oh, come on. Oh, please. I don't want to die. I don't want to die today, but I'm not gonna die today. Thank God. And Scarf overstays. Yes. It, we turn it around. Longest fight in NA. Let's go. Oh my God. Oh, that got my heart racing there a little bit. That got my heart racing. Dude, that fin pull, the jump scares. Holy shit. I'm doing it. Where's this fin? Get your ass back here, fin. He, he's too scared. Oh my god, alright, so this game started off horrid, but I think it's starting to come back around. Glaive's getting kind of OP uh, with that breaking point. He's going to get a little bit tanky as well. He's building, he's actually itemizing really well, and he's playing really well. Um, yeah, that like he's, he's doing well. I gotta give this Glaive some mad credit here. What, what are you doing down here? Let's get the Shiver Steel proc on him. Go over here, slow him. Execute, there we go. Execute cuz you're so cute Nice slow him That's gonna finish him. Let's go dude the team synergy right now. I love it. I love it. It's so good Let's push the second tier turret and Let's let's finish this guys. I'm pumped. We just turned this game from like nothing into us winning <laughs> Let's go. I'm so pumped right now. All right, I guess they don't want to push the wave in so I'll push it in like, this is one of those times where you just want to hard push the wave to make sure that they don't get farmed. Mm, nope, I don't want to fight you. <laughs> Actually, I kind of do. Actually, nope, no I don't. Actually, I might die. Actually, she wasted her stun on a tank. That makes no sense. Mm, but I still died, because Scarf showed up. Hey, Ringo decided to fight. Look at that. <laughs> Funny. And... Come on. Oh, he's got that breaking point. He's got that breaking point. No, Spitfire can kill him. And he's dead. And Ringo just got wrecked. Dude, Ringo did no damage there. Um, what do we want to build? Warhorn? Yep. That's going to be a really good item. Especially with the breaking point glaive. Keep him stuck to his enemies. Uh, Ringo is having some issues, but, you know, that's okay. Glaive, like, immediately when he saw that I was in a fight that I wasn't, like, didn't want to be in, he immediately tried to come. Ringo was a little bit slower, and he showed up late to the fight, which wasn't good. But this glaive... I gotta give this glaive credit. Like this, this glaive is carrying my ass. Maybe, maybe it's maybe I'm a late game support though. Who knows? I mean, I'm building. I don't really want to fight you. Can we just can can we just not? I'm really not in the mood. But actually, if Ringo is, then I can I can get in the mood. Here we go, dodging all the freaking. Okay, Ringo, where, Ringo, Ringo, Ringo. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> Glaive, Glaive's gonna come. Hopefully, come on, Glaive. Kraken's up. Where's he going? Help Ringo. 
That was that was very bad. I think I probably overextended there to be honest. Let's get cooldown reduction maybe. I think that could be good. Especially uh, cooldown reduction, the energy that you get from a uh, clockwork, I think somehow ends up giving you more um, more focus. I don't know exactly how you get more focus, but it, I believe eventually the energy regen and base energy that you get from uh, from clockwork and stuff like that actually ends up giving you more focus. I don't know the exact way how though. I, <laughs> I don't exactly know this guy's kit to be honest. Like I, I understand it, but I don't know the ins and outs if, if you know what I mean. I almost stole that. That would have been bad. <laughs> I did not mean to. Uh, lane's pushing. Let's clear that. Okay, and we're gonna max out the uh, the ultimate because I feel like that's probably the most useful. I mean, execute is a lot of damage, but the ultimate getting that on a short cooldown is pretty freaking useful, especially because I can triple proc shiver still. Even though there's some times when it's maybe not that useful, it's always there if you need it. Like, if you're just trying to go for a mass disengage, triple shiver steal, uh, we can just show this. Because they don't seem to want to defend, so... Here they come, and I'm out. <laughs> and I'm out. Or am I? Or am I? Was that just a bait? Was that just a bait that I saw? Let's go. How did I get that kill? Pop in the fountain to keep myself alive, because I'm that scumbag support. And the triple pull, because I actually... Wow, that was... <laughs> I tried to use my faint of heart into him, and the... Shit. Dude, I'm used to doing damage with him, but I, I don't do that much damage with him. I gotta get used to this. Blaze kind of getting wrecked by Finn, but I think he's gonna get away. Yeah. <laughs> does he get away? He does. Nice, good stuff. All right, we can pick up Clockwork here. Our score is improving. We're now two and seven. We're almost equal with Ringo, except he is more assists, which makes sense. So this is this is interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Let's see, what do we get? What does this item give us? Score. I forget exactly what the um, passive storm guard. Thirty percent versus monsters. I could have sworn that it said it gave you like more damage based on how many how much gold you got from like your iron guard or something i could have sworn that was a thing let me look oh here it is basic attack steal plus 20 percent true damage per second plus one for every 25 gold earned from iron guard yeah okay shit they're fighting i was reading no no <laughs> come come back i want to fight Dude, the damages, the damages, except for sc Nope, and I'm out. Everybody just died. They, they're all dead. Oh, come on, come on. Oh crap, they got Kraken too. Okay, dodge the Spitfire. I really need health. I mean, I have my, I have my fountain, but I don't really want to use that right now. Okay, dodge that. I don't have enough damage. I mean, actually, I have a lot of damage, but I'm not using it well. At least, I don't think I am. Yes. Okay, good. Dude, these freaking Rose Offensives keeping me alive. I love it. And my team's going in. I think, I okay, I have I have that Storm Guard, so we're going to use the Storm Guard to just kill this thing really, really quickly. I feel like that's probably the best use of our time. I'm going to war, war, war horn him in here, so we get him in here real quick. Just, just kill this freaking thing. There we go. All right. So we didn't, we didn't lose that much. That was, ooh, I, I had to stay alive for a long time there. I was reading though. Come on. All right. What do we got? What do we want to build? What do we want to build? What are they building? They're all CP. I, I want to go for more crystal for more shielding, but there's really no reason to. I mean. Well, journey boots, I guess. That'll give me some shielding, doesn't it? Yeah, it gives me 25 shield, and those are actually useful for support, you know, keeping my positioning. But, like, building an Aegis is not useful in a support. It just counters this team so incredibly well, and yet our Ringo hasn't built one. <laughs> like, we really, 
my team needs to build those. Those are just, that's what's gonna save us in these fights, because they're just all the same damage and only damage. I guess that's something. They're only damage. So if we get the engage on them, if we get the jump and they have to try and back away, they're just gonna die so quickly. So we gotta, we gotta go for the offensive, not the defensive here, guys. The strats. Where's, where, what's Ringo doing? What is our Ringo doing? I can fountain him, I can warhorn him. What, our Ringo just stood there. Oh, did I get the shiver still? Yes, I got the shiver still croc and I'm alive. Ringo just stood there. Oh my God, that was, Ooh, Ringo, salt is building within me. Okay, we got Costco over here. She thinks she's good. We're gonna teach her who's boss. Actually, nope, she's got her big burly friend with her. We're not gonna teach anything. We're gonna back away. Or are we? Or, or are we what? Oh my God, Ringo got wrecked. Dude, this Ringo, oh, oh it is rough. It's a hard knock life for me. Okay, I got the slow proc. Okay, going on this side. I still got the fountain, actually. I'm gonna fountain him. I'm gonna slow. I'm gonna boots. Come on, come on, come on. I can just freaking body block all this. And Finn can't kill me. I mean, he probably could if he landed his stuff, but Finn, the freaking cast timers and all this shit is so long. Let's go, let's go. Man, that was good. All right, we're just gonna kill all this crap. I think I'm gonna build an alternating current. I think that'd be a good item on him. Even as a support. Okay, he wants to go. F I'm, I'm down, I'm down. I got my I got my Warhorn. Is my damage capped at anything? I I'm not sure. Um, because I have my Warhorn damage and I wonder if that's actually capped at any point. Cause if I, if it just does, if it's not capped, that could get really OP eventually, like really OP. He's just shopping. Okay, we, we we should probably finish this before you shop. Just saying. Okay, there we go. Now we infuse because we want to win the game on this push. We're not doing well in this game, but this is still an amazing game because of this glaive. So this game is is good. Now I need to figure out if my uh, Stormguard banner has infinite stacking or not. If so, OP. Can these guys group? What are they doing? No, you're, you're letting this Kraken go to waste. Oh my God, these guys are just letting the Kraken go to waste. It's half health because they didn't show up. Get over here, fight these mothers. I was gonna say a bad word there, but I didn't, I didn't. I did not. I can't, yes, I found, I found, I kept him alive. Yes, yes, yes. And I don't want, I don't want, okay, I can't, can't tunnel vision on this guy. We got a good fight there. There we go. Turns out that you're, uh, your ultimate actually acts as a reflex block. I didn't know that. So it can block things like the Spitfire and all that. Because you, do, you don't take damage when, when it happens. If that makes sense. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I didn't know it acted as a reflex block. Which is actually interesting. To understand and know. And we don't have enough. Actually, we pretty much have enough. We're going to wait for it. Or should I build, or should I build Crucible? Oh, it looks so good. I, I want, I, uh, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You can call me a bad support, but I'm doing it. Okay, Ringo bought, bought an Aegis. That's really, really good. That's like, that's what he needed to buy. Um, Team Synergy has fallen off a little bit, but let's be honest, it's, it's still there a little bit. I think we can still make this work, except for Glaive is over there farming. Glaive, please come. Glaive, please, please come. Nope, Glaive, please. Okay, we're, we can group down there with him. That's if he really wants to come up there, we can go down there. 
Glaive wants to go down there. Okay, group with us, group with us. Come, Ringo. Like, if, if this is what he wants to do, we can do this. Scarf is right over there. I'm, I'm a scared. I'm a scared. I'm a scared. Come on. Okay, I can three man shiver steal. Pop fountain, pop fountain. It'll keep him alive for a little bit. Whoa, how am I over here? Uh, Warhorn. Boots. There we go. Okay, we picked up one. Slow. Come on. Everything. All the all the buttons. Press all the buttons. Press all the buttons. Okay, that's that's two. Uh, we can kill this guy. Come on, we can kill this guy. We better be able to kill this guy. Where's he going? Okay, well, I can kill him. I don't know if Glaive can kill him. He's actually getting kind of low, but we got him. Okay, we got him. We're good. We're good, guys. We got this. Let's win this game. I am so hyped right now. I am so freaking hyped. Can we please push at least one turret, Glaive? Come on. They're, they're still down. It's been, like, a freaking decade. And Glaive's just... What are you doing, Glaive? Come on. He's, like, so good in fights, but he doesn't know what to do after the fights. And now we back out. Or no, now, now we don't back out. Nope, crap, I pinged here and then group. I didn't mean to ping that. No. Okay, if you, actually, if he wants to do this, we can do it real quick. Okay, I got him shiver sealed. Reapply the shiver seal. Did he punt him out of that? That was not good. <laughs> okay, we can actually kill this guy. We can kill him, we can kill him. Fountain. Fountain, keep everybody alive. Keep us alive. Yes, I'm still alive. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Oh, this is this has been like the best game. Oh my god. Like it started off so bad and then it got really good and then it got really bad, but then it got good again. Oh, it's this is oh I love freaking Black Feather. Not a great support in my opinion, but super, super freaking fun. Oh my god. Alright, so there you go guys pretty rough in the beginning got really good for a little bit got really bad and then i mean just ending with a great great push there so let's look at the builds because you guys kind of hammered on me last time because i didn't show the builds and i'm sorry because i was i was a dumb dumb scarf sold his build he did pretty well really well, actually yeah he kind of carried his team koshka did really well as well they both built like pretty much full cp and finn built an aftershock as well as a bunch of defense so they had a lot of cp damage and honestly i would have thought that like finn would build another fountain because i had shiver steel finn probably should have instead of build built shiver steel built fountain and then he would have had even more shielding and then also like a heal for himself which would have been much more useful but he didn't and that's okay so finn built a pretty standard breaking point build um built that aegis which he pretty much needed i built i don't even know what i built i was trying to go for support black feather i mean it's viable, but the thing is, Black Feather is about damage. And yes, you have the team, like the team AoE Shiro Seal, and you have slows, and you have speed boosts, and all that good stuff. But in the end, I don't know if it's better than just a regular Black Feather, in my opinion. Um, and then we got Ringo. He built a weapon power Ringo. Probably should have gotten CP, considering that it was a breaking point glaive. Um, if you're playing Ringo, just build opposite of what your jungle carry is going. So if you're playing Ringo and you have a Kashka that's going CP, then you build weapon power. If you have a Ringo on your team and you have a Glaive that's going uh, weapon power, then you go crystal power. Cause he's, he's flexible like that. So that's kind of what you should do to be honest. Um, and then finally, actually I think that's all the different people on their team. So there you go. Those are the builds. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to have a like, comment and subscription and become a Lieutenant today. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. See ya.